Another item you can include in a Java server page is a tag. Simply put, you write and compile a Java class that outputs text that you want to insert into your final page. You put this special class in a library and write a special tag in the JSP source code that will run the tag program and insert its output into the page. It's normal to have whole libraries of tags available for use in the pages, but in this lesson I want to show you what's involved in creating a single simple tag and inserting it in your web page. The TLD suffix on this file stands for Tag Library Definition. This is an XML file that contains the description of a tag library, including information on all the tags in the library. Now here is the dictionary definition that defines all the tags for the tag definition library. If you're curious, you can go to this website and download the definitions. Or you can just go to this website and verify that you're using the current version. Now this tag it defines the entire tag library. This is a very simple library because it only contains one tag, but it is an entire library nonetheless. This is version 1.0 of this library, and this is valid for version 1.1 of JSP. The name of this library is Howdy Tag, and this is a brief description of the library. This is about it for the library description. All that's left are the individual tags. This example, of course, has just the one. And this is a very simple tag. All it has is the name that's assigned to it and the path name of the class file. Notice that this is a full path name of the class. It's a full package name, and it has to be in the directory of this name. I'll show you how all that goes together here in a minute. Here's a JSP file that uses this tag. Here at the top of the file is a taglib directive that specifies the location of the taglib descriptor file and defines a prefix to be used for references to the members of this taglib. You could put this taglib definition file in a subdirectory, but it works just fine here in the main directory. If you have lots of stuff in the main directory, or if you have several tag libraries, you may want to use subdirectories instead. Here is where the actual tag is inserted into the page. Now, this is just a regular tag. It looks like an XML tag with a colon and all. It begins with the prefix that was defined in the top line that defines the library. Following the prefix is the name of the tag from the library. This example only has the one tag, and you call it by name. And that's all there is to using a tag in a JSP source file. Now let's look at the structure of the tag itself. 